Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a pick a card reading for you. So this is going to be for what's coming in 2020 for you Sagittarius. So we have three wonderful groups here. We have group one, two and three. And the cards that I am using for this group will be in the description box below just in case you're interested in knowing. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a look into this entire situation and whichever group you feel most drawn to is going to be the reading for you. We have quite a minimal setup and I was just so drawn to purple for your reading today and so I hope you enjoy. And yeah, the timestamps for each of these groups will be in the description box below as well so you can skip ahead to your reading and... There we go, rest is history, right? So I also wanna make some quick announcements. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to book a private paid reading, the information for that will be down below and they are done within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, basically, you know, it's, it's a purchase reading, so from the time that you purchase it, it will be done within 48 hours usually sometimes even 24 hours but um and the last thing I want to mention is that my bracelets my spiritually charged intention bracelets which you can see here they are on Etsy they are handmade by me they are meditated with they are staged and they are there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life so I'm wearing the wealth bracelet currently and I do just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have seen results and you have let me know. I mean, it's incredible. You guys can check out the reviews on that as well. They start literally from three pounds with free international shipping. So I'm just so happy that I can bring something that is affordable, but, you know, has impact as well. So if you are interested, do check that out. I pour my heart and my soul into those bracelets. And yeah, so let's get started with this reading. Um, we're going to start first of all with group number one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the other groups out of the way. Oh, <laughs> what a great start. All right, so group number one, we are going to have a look and see what is coming for 2020 for you Sagittarius. So let's have a little look. So the bottom four cards are going to be to do with love. The next row is going to be career and then the top row will be general. I do also want to mention sometimes we might get more than four cards which is also totally fine. So we're going to start first of all with the bottom row, which is love. So let's have a look and see in 2020 what is coming through for you in regards to, whoa, love. So we do have more than four, which is totally fine. So we have here the six of wands. Oh, wow. We have the ten of cups. Wow. We have the Five of Wands. We also have the Death here as well. We have got the Star and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that there is this kind of, essentially there is a long-term union that is here, but there also can be a little bit of a break between you and this person. Now I know that's probably not the kind of thing that you really want to hear, but that's what's coming through. There's this kind of break that also shows some form of self-discovery that either you or this other person is going to have to do. There is definite love here. That's what I'm seeing with the Six of Wands. There's an approach, there's pursuing that happens. There is this fiery energy, which of course comes through with you as well. But I'm also seeing that either you or the other person, you'll get a little bit confused with this Five of Wands. You'll then you know, you then feel the effect of this Eight of Cups where either you walk away or the other person walks away because walking away is quite strong in this card. There's death here, which shows endings, right, which we see, but also new beginnings. So what I'm seeing is that also with the star card, there's a wish, the star card, not car. I can't believe I just said star car. Star card, there's a wish come true. So what I am seeing is that even though there is this walking away energy that we see there's also this sense of self-discovery that we're also seeing with the star and also the eight of cups eight of cups is also about self-discovery 
Death card is also about rebirth. So you can see just how clearly this is showing that there is a sense of rejuvenation in this situation. There's something coming alive. There's something brewing and getting stronger for the two of you. That's what's coming through in this particular reading, especially with that six of wands. There's progression here. There's something really strong. There's something so strong that's manifesting. Um, but there's also the 10 of cups, which shows like a reconciliation, a union, things coming together. And the five, of course, in tarot is about change. So you can also see just how clear that is as well, because even though there's chaos, it will it will change. It will get better. So essentially, overall, what I am seeing is that there is someone very, very strong here in regards to love. There's a lot of pursuing and things like that. And then it may... There's essentially distant space and time where there's this feeling of rejuvenation and healing and also self-discovery. And then after that self-discovery, there is a reconciliation and like a wish come true. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. So that's in 2020. Now we're going to move on to Korea. Oh, that fell on my lap. Okay, let's see if we can get one more card. Okay, that just fell on the floor. Let me just grab it. So the card that fell on the floor is the Hanged Man. So in terms of your career, I feel like your career is literally going to awaken. There is this feeling also of perhaps, you know, you feeling trapped at some point in terms of your career, perhaps not feeling so great about it. And then you taking strides to really awaken yourself and do what you love, you know, following your path, manifesting what you really want to do. And by doing so, you're attracting so many opportunities. We see the sun here, which shows positivity and joy and happiness. So I really do see that, you know, there's this feeling of you not feeling so great about your career, but also wanting to manifest something really, really strong in terms of your career. And with this sun card, it really is showcasing and showing very strongly opportunities. It's showing positivity. It's showing things really flowing and growing for you. So that's what I'm, what I'm seeing. And your awakening within yourself and your career is also awakening as well. So what I am seeing is that this is all quite tied to your emotions. And I do see that, you know, you will start to follow your path and your calling in life, which is also going to bring you lots of opportunities with the Knight of Cups. So you know, if you want to progress towards what you want to do in life, I think it's one of the best things you could do because I'm seeing a lot of opportunities here as well. And opportunities with this Knight of Cups that are going to make you feel so emotionally happy and grateful and joyful and just really good in general. So that is what I'm seeing specifically with these cards here in terms of your career. So follow your passion. That is essentially what's coming through and you will find yourself just growing abundant in so many opportunities, attracting just so much goodness as well, and not feeling trapped, not feeling like you don't want to do this. So that's what I'm seeing, especially with the hangman, you know, it's this feeling of just peace and happiness with what you're doing, and that giving you a sense of feeling uplifted. That's what I'm seeing there. Okay, and now we're going to have a general look. Ooh, let's see what we've got going on. We've got exactly four cards, to my surprise. <laughs> Okay, so general, ace of pentacles, right? We know that there is some form of commitment, stability and security that will come. Is it challenging? Yes, it looks like it is challenging, but it also does bring a long-term prospect. I'm also seeing here money flowing in. So again, following your true path and your passion in life is going to allow you to earn more money. And that's also going to allow you to live in a much more stable, like, comfortable way that you want to be in. We also have strength here, so it is showing that you are just going to grow stronger throughout the course of 2020 through experiences and just in general, you're going to feel so much more stronger in your self-esteem and learning to accept yourself. I think that's beautiful. I think that's so, so beautiful. It's just embodying your energy and not being sorry for who you are, which I think is really, really strong. We also have here the two of swords, okay, so there can be some underlying confusion and maybe some, you know, decision making where you feel like, oh, not really sure what to do in this situation. That's normal, you know, two of swords is, I feel more so tied 
to you know this person not really knowing what's going on not knowing you know if you should move on or this or that what I would say is just make sure you make the focus of yourself in a situation like that we're also seeing here with the emperor as well there is this energy of you going towards your dreams and your desires and your passions and your goals which is very very strong so putting focus into yourself is probably the best thing that you could do group number one absolutely the best thing so you also have some decisions to make and that comes through the two of swords as well in a situation where you have to make decisions to take a step back clear your mind a little bit and make the decision when you're in the clearest mindset because i'm seeing that's when you will make the best decisions not decisions in a rush all right so group number one i hope this gives you a little bit more of an idea into 2020 um you're just going to get stronger and stronger from this and that's what we got so I am now going to move on to group number two um, but yeah if you found that this reading resonated with you let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already all right so now I'm going to move on to the second group All right, group number, group number three. Let's have a look and see what we have coming, group number two. Oh my God, let me do that again. <laughs> oh, let me do that again. Group number two, this is what we have coming for you um, for 2020. So let's have a look Sagittarius, see what's coming for you if you chose group number two. Okay, so I'm just going to move the crystal out of the way. It's so beautiful. This is the um, Kawaii Tarot, just in case anyone is wondering. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm starting to shuffle, but the bottom row of four cards is going to be for love, then the second row is going to be to do with career, and then the third row will be general. We may get more than four cards, which is totally fine, but as a base, let's just say four. So we have here the ten of wands, we also have here the six of cups, and we also have the sun. Wow. Okay, so message is also very... It's, already very very strong the ten of wands is about putting past hurt or just past baggage and and burdens in the past basically the message is let's just put put that in the past let's not even try and bring it into the future just you know try not to the important thing here is definitely do heal from it you know learn from it and you know any baggage anything that's hurt you in the past definitely you know acknowledge it and heal um Acknowledge, learn and heal from it, but definitely don't bring it into the future with you because that can of course drain you, it can cause problems. We definitely don't want that. So the thing here is definitely, you know, leaving that in the past. So long as you have learned from it, you've acknowledged it, you know, that's important because you don't just want to like just bury it deep down and not acknowledge it. But what I am seeing is that there's a very strong message here about, you know, just not carrying the load of things too much you put, put them down you know otherwise you're gonna stress yourself out you're going to just feel so heavily burdened it's just not worth it and it can cause future problems in relationships and love because of trust and healing and things like that the good news here is that you're going to put a lot of this in the past right but for some of you you need to be able to like literally hear that as well you know to do that and I feel that you very much so will progress towards that so, you know, this, this energy is showing that, you know, there is something really opening up for you. You're going from the 10, but you've, putting it in the past, you know, you, it's, it's an ending. It's an ending. We're putting it in the past. And then we have the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups shows love. It shows a spiritual connection. It shows progress. It shows something so, so, so beautiful. It's a spiritually blossoming connection that I'm seeing blossoming because of the sun as well. You know, the sun is about growth and bloom. It's about opportunities. It's about positivity and happiness. And that's what I'm seeing in terms of love for you for 2020. So long as you can put this past hurt, past burden in the past... You have these beautiful opportunities manifesting and growing for you and things getting really, really strong and so, so, so beautiful for you. Oh my God. <laughs> In regards to love, we have so many cards that just came out. You know, new opportunities, 
Um, but also if you're with someone and it's quite a, you know, long term thing, I am seeing, you know, it's, it's a continuation. It's about things just growing for the two of you. And I am also seeing that if you're single, there is someone coming in here that is just so fun to be around and just makes you feel really happy. There's also this feeling of humour and happiness that's really coming through, which I sense that you're going to feel as well with the full. We also have the tower. So you may feel a little bit all over the place at times because we do have some retrogrades. And the main thing is the retrograde. So you may feel like, you know, things are a little bit all over the place. You may, have, may feel emotionally all over the place, which can also, you know, make the other person um, feel like, you know, are you okay? You know, all this kind of stuff. So what I am seeing, you know, the tower here is about shakeups. It's also showing that there is something, you know, really, really strong coming for you. And what I would say is that I do see that there is love. Now, of course, you know, if you have just the tower and the ten of wands, then, you know, there's a very strong energy there that is underlying or would underlie, especially in tarot. Not that I'm doing a tarot lesson, like in the middle of your reading or anything, but if you have the Five of Pentacles, Tower, Ten of Wands, it's not good, right? The energy is not good. However, the way that I'm reading it and the way that I have seen it, even before these cards did come out, you know, especially with what we had here, was that this, sorry, what we had here is very, very strong because we have the Five of Pentacles, which shows us feeling or fear of loneliness, but we also have the Six of Pentacles, which quickly changes the situation around from, you know, the potential, you know, feeling of or fear of heartbreak to love, which I'm seeing for you. I'm not seeing this sad, lonely energy. What I am seeing is that you will have a fear of loneliness. Make sure you do not feed that fear because feeding that fear can make it literally happen. So what I would say is this is about change though. So it does show that you will change that fear. Also, Six of Pentacles shows a beautiful mutual love. So, so long as you don't keep feeding that fear, there is a very mutual love here. There's something growing and getting stronger for you. We also have here the lovers, which is very, very strong. Again, in regards to love, I'm not seeing heartbreak. I am seeing love. And, you know, sometimes I know that people in the comment section will be like, yeah, but this card came out and that card came out. And doesn't that mean like this would happen? This is my interpretation and what I am seeing, right? So what I am seeing is this growth from the five to the six. That showcases love. We also have the lovers, which is so, so obvious. The tower here, again, make sure you don't keep feeding your fears. Again, putting things from the past is really, really putting things in the past is very, very beneficial from your past. And there is love that is really opening up for you in 2020, so long as you don't keep feeding your fears, that's very, very important, okay? So there's love and it's stable, very, very stable. The love is there is about growth and connection and love and just this beautiful energy that surrounds the two of you. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Korea. So we're gonna move on to the career portion. Let's see what's coming through. We've got strength, we got the page of cups, we've got the three of wands. So I do feel that it's good for you to be patient because you may feel like, you know, you're thinking a lot about your career and your money situation. What I'm seeing is that a little bit of patience and you'll find that the right opportunity, the right thing for you will come to you because we got the Ace of Cups and this is about emotional satisfaction, joy, happiness. So just a little bit of patience and the right thing will come around. You know, even the Three of Wands has these three love hearts on it and the Ace of Cups has a love heart on it. So I'm seeing the right thing for you, the thing that you really, really want to enjoy is going to be on the horizon. Just be patient because I know that there's some of you that want to perhaps switch careers or jobs or, or do something different and I feel like that that cup, that ace of cups is on the horizon, but it's going to take a bit of time in 2020 for you to literally find it or to have it. Okay, so we also have the page of cups, which shows opportunities and you doing what you love. You know, you've got this halo. It's a very divine card in that nature because it's showing that what you want to do, you can achieve and fulfill, but you will have to have a bit of strength and some patience, especially with the three of wands to um, get to that point. So be patient with yourself, be strong within yourself. You've got the Sagittarius, I know you can do it. But I am seeing that the thing that you wanna do, right? It's like a dream come true, a wish come true, but with time and with some patience for sure. 
that doesn't mean you know you shouldn't keep working towards your goals and your dreams that you should just wait what I am seeing is of course in the meantime you know of course do your own thing um, because that's obviously very important but make sure you're not actively just you know waiting but also you've got to have patience so yeah that's what I'm seeing for you is just be strong be strong and you will find that and also you know work hard that's that's also something that's coming through as well work hard in the meantime but you will have to be patient okay so now we're going to move on to the general portion see what's coming through general portion shows commitment oh we've got the knight of swords okay so we have yeah commitment look at that dun dun dun, dun. we've got two knights Okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, we've got the Hierophant. So again, in regards to love, right, even though we have the Tower and the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, we also have the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. Okay, so this shows in regards to love, there is something very, very strong here. Make sure you don't feed your fears, as I mentioned. I'm also seeing in regards to your career, there is an opportunity coming through with this King of Cups energy, also the Knight of Pentacles energy, a chance to earn more money as well. The Hierophant is showing commitment, stability and security in regards to love and just in regards to your home life, you know, your family life. The Knight of Swords here is showing a lot of communication between you and just a lot of people in general. It's showing that you're going to be very, very social in 2020. So that is what I am seeing. So Sagittarius, this is a little sneak peek into 2020 and what you can expect. And if you found that this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, do check out the description box below as well. And I'm going to move on now to group number three. So let's have a little look. I'm just going to clear all of these cards. So group number three, this is your reading and we are going to have a look Sagittarius, so Sagittarius group number three, what is coming for you in 2020, so let's have a little look, so how this is going to work is bottom four cards to do with love, middle row of four cards is going to be to do with career and then the top four cards will be general, we may get more than four cards which is totally fine, but uh, just as a base we will aim for four, but that's obviously not going to happen, is it? Okay, so we have got, in regards to love, we have the chariot. We have got the death card. We got the three of pentacles, nine of wands, hierophant, five of pentacles, and the two of cups. So if you are single, I mean, it's really obvious that there's someone here that's coming through because your single life is going to come to an end as we see with the death card, right? So the five of pentacles is this kind of lonely, singular energy. Now, of course, because you're single, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're lonely, but I'm seeing that there's some of you here that feel quite lonely being single and um, you would be so much happier in a relationship. And what I'm seeing is that that is essentially ending where you are going to get a relationship and things are progressing. Now, if you're in a relationship, I'm just seeing that pretty much continuing and getting stronger, especially with the two of cups. So if you're single, this is about, you know, love really blooming and growing and getting very strong. But if you're already with someone, this is about things getting really strong with that person. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. Now, if you're in a situation with someone where you are really kind of with them, but you're also kind of not with them. And what I mean by that is perhaps, you know, the two of you are always like talking and things like that. But And you feel like you're with that person, but you're not actually in a committed, com you know, relationship with that person. I'm seeing a continuation here. And then becoming much more stable towards you. Now, of course, if at any point you choose with free will to exit out of any situation, then of course things will change. But what I am seeing is that if you choose to stay in the situations, 
there is very strong love, especially with the Hierophant, right? It shows commitment, stability, and security. So that's what I'm seeing, whether you're single, in a situationship, or you're in a proper relationship, that there is very, very strong love here that is brooming. It's almost like a transformation. Things just getting stronger and stronger between the two of you emotionally. And also, you know, make sure you don't feed this fear of, you know, what if they break up with me, or what if this happens, or that happens. Please don't feed that fear of the Five of Pentacles. We've also got the Nine of Wands here, which shows that this person will think a lot about you. The, this card is about wondering, thinking, contemplating. It's also about ideas and, and going, you know, adventuring out as well. We also have the Three of Pentacles, which shows teamwork and collaboration. No relationship, even a friendship, cannot exist without teamwork and collaboration. So you can see that the, the, the beauty of this connection is working together, progressing through things together, getting through, you know, I, you know, just essentially getting through life in that way, but in a really beautiful way where the two of you are able to work things through and get through, get through things together with the three of pentacles. So that's what we're seeing there. It's a very, very strong card and that's what we got. So essentially it's very, very strong in regards to love. Very, very strong. About, you know both of you working in harmony with each other so now we get on to career we have the eight of cups the eight of cups here is about self-discovery what is it Sagittarius that you want to do with your career what is it because we have also the four of cups and the ace of pentacles as I'm literally trying to get the last card out we got the sun as well what is it that you want to do? Because what I'm seeing here is that, that ooh, <laughs> it's almost knocked all the other cards out. We have this card of self-discovery and finding yourself and your true calling in life. So if you feel like your career just doesn't suit you, and this is a repeating theme that I have seen for 2020, is that it is time for you to embark on your journey to find yourself in terms of your career. What is it that makes you feel happy? Because there's some form of resistance with this Four of Cups that I'm seeing in terms of your career and also your financial situation is perhaps not as reflective of what it is that you would like it to be. So this Four of Cups is really showcasing that, you know, you're not that excited by what you're doing right now. But it's also about going on a path of self-discovery, finding your purpose. What is it that you really want to do? What is it that makes you feel really happy? And then embarking towards that because we have the sun, which shows bloom and growth and positivity and just a lot of happiness and going towards what you want to do and not holding back. So don't hold back. In 2020, I'm seeing that, you know, you're going to go through a phase where you're thinking, does this suit me? Do I like it? Does it make me happy? Does it give me what I want? Is it up to my experience, you know, and then you will very much so progress towards what you want to do, especially with this four of, pen, um, four of pentacles. It's kind of like, you know, just kind of staying stuck a little bit, but not liking that feeling as well. Did I say four of cups? I meant four of pentacles. I meant four of pentacles. Four of pentacles. Let's just clear that. Four of pentacles. So we have here the Ace of Pentacles as well, right? It shows you gaining more money when you're doing something that you really enjoy. You know, the Four of Pentacles is about kind of also staying stuck, you know, not really budging, but kind of just being happy with whatever's there. But there's also this feeling of like, okay, but that's not really serving me. I'm just kind of in it, but I'm not really in it, in it, you know? So the Ace of Pentacles is about happiness, it is also about you getting what you want, your desired result. It's also about money and it is also about commitment and stability in regards to your career and your financial situation, which, by the way, is very, very strong, you know, in in the whole situation. So, you know, that is really what we do have there. Let's just grab the cards again. So... In terms of a career, and I actually did say that in my mind before I shuffled the cards, but I just didn't say it out loud. So in terms of career, we, um, oh my god, what is happening with me today? I don't know what is going on with me today, but we are on to the general portion of this reading, not career. So we have here the seven of wands, but this also very much so does relate to your career as well, because it is general, so it can really relate to any portion and part of your life. So... 
I feel like actually when I did say career, I do feel that these also do reflect on your career just as much as they do on other areas of your life. So we have the Seven of Wands, which shows a struggle and a challenge. And this is very much so I feel to do with your career situation where you're not 100% certain or sure, but you're still going, you know, you still keep going, even though you're quite uncertain. We also have the Hanged Man. This Hanged Man energy is about you spiritually awakening to what it is that you want to do, following your path and your passion. It's also about, you know, you finding your feet in terms of spirituality just in general you might find yourself perhaps meditating or being interested in crystals you might find that you you want to practice different forms of mindfulness or that you're reading up a lot more about astrology i mean if you're watching this reading right here we go tarot tarot is also part of that as well we also have the strength card, so you're going to feel so much more stronger, you're going to get to a very strong point in your life where you just feel like things are getting better for you, things are really looking up for you, things are just, you know, through experience, you're just going to feel like you are getting to a place where you want to be. I mean, look at that, right? Six of Cups, getting to a place where you want to be, a place that fulfills you, makes you feel happy, makes you feel good, so please don't give up. Also, I'm not really seeing that you are going to give up, especially with this um, seven of Wands, you know, it's this feeling of you keep, you just keep going regardless. We also have the Tower, so it's showing some changes in 2020 that are going to better suit you and make you feel so much better. Remember, the Tower is about releasing, Tower releases all that negative energy and we can feel the impact of it at the time, but then over time, you know, the Tower starts to crumble and it comes crashing down and then a new Tower can be built and this is about, you know, the strength and that things coming together in a much, much better way than they have been before. Whew. So Sagittarius, you know, I group number three, I do apologise for, you know, a little bit of me being a bit all over the place, but we got the messages out there in the end, and I really hope that this resonated with your situation. Um, you know, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy, and my stomach is rumbling, even though I've had food, like, what is that all about? But, um, <laughs> I don't know if you could actually hear that on camera, but yeah, I will see you very, very soon. Take care, have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, and yeah.